On today's video, I will show you how to set up your new Blue Yeti microphone in Adobe Audition 2021 Creative Cloud version. Also, how to set your microphone up in Windows 10 computer settings. First off, let's plug in your microphone to the USB port on your computer and the USB mini port on the microphone. Once you plug it in, the microphone red light should power on and stay lit. Now, let's set up the Adobe Audition settings. Open Adobe Audition in Windows 10. Now, go to Edit in the main menu drop-down. Scroll down to Preferences. Now scroll down to Audio Hardware. Once the Audio Hardware window pops up, click on the default input menu drop down to select a new device. Now you should see a device called Microphone Yeti Stereo Microphone. Click on that selection. A warning window will appear that says Device changes can modify channel mappings, input assignments, and affect playback or recording currently underway. Do you want to continue? Click yes because you want this setting. You should not have to change anything else in this settings window. Click OK. Now your Blue Yeti microphone is ready to use. To give it a test, Click on the red record button in Adobe Audition. A record settings window will pop up. Click on your desired settings for recording. I usually record my audio at 48,000 Hz, channels on stereo, bid depth at 32 float. This will ensure you get the best sound from your new Yeti mic. Now, let's go to our Windows 10 settings and configure the microphone for recording. Let's go to the USB Yeti microphone and set the gain on the microphone all the way up to the highest level setting. On a Windows computer, go to the Windows Start icon on the very bottom left corner of your computer. Right click on the icon once it pops up. Then, scroll up to search on the Menu Selection tab. Type in Control. You should see Control Panel pop up as a click option. It will say Control Panel App. Click on it to open it. There should be two view settings inside the Control Panel window. Category Mode or Icon Mode. In the category mode, there should be a menu item called Hardware and Sound. So go ahead and click on that to open it. After clicking on Hardware and Sound, now click Manage Audio Devices under the Sound Setting menu item. A new window will pop up called Sound. Now that you've found the Sound window, go to the upper tab menu and select Recording tab. Now you should see a list of installed devices. Double click on the menu item called Microphone Yeti Stereo Microphone. This opens up a new window called Microphone Properties. Go to the Levels tab and click on it. If the setting is at 100%, pull the selector bar down to around 50% or even down to 20% on some systems. Then click OK. But make sure to leave your sound window open because you need to test your mic by recording something. If the level setting is at 50% for your first test and you still hear a hum or buzz on your test recording, go back and turn the level indicator bar down to a lower setting. 
Remember to click OK on the Levels window each time you run a test. After getting a good result, click Apply on the Sound window. Or if the Apply button is blanked out, just hit OK. And you're all set! Now, while recording your voice, you should have perfect silence when you're not speaking into the microphone, and that annoying hum or buzzing sound should be gone. Happy recording! I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment. Click subscribe for more videos like this one.